Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Time for the song and dance. It's your boy Rob Dorsey, your friendly neighborhood nerd. Uh -huh. And this is my main man over here. Nerd up, J.O. Back with another episode of the Beats and Brews podcast. And we got a couple extra special guests today. Definitely. And um, I don't know what to say, but I will say this. This dude right here, super talented. Very, very humble dude that, you know, from what, I, from what I've noticed. Until he, today. Until today. I'm going to change. Hey, you know what, man? I, you know what? I, let me just give you all a heads up. <laughs> oh, I, I try not to cuss. Oh, really? You watching? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want my I'm going to respect your mom, though. I just don't want her now to now that I know that man. mom is like here, I'm going to be <laughs> totally <laughs> respectful. <laughs> even with beer in my system. <laughs> I want your mom out. to be able to watch. This is this is for the moms and the yeah. children. Right. It's gonna come up. It's gonna come up. I'm glad you said that because I was about to be on ten. <laughs> I can drop more f bombs in, in ten seconds. Then, <laughs> all right, cool. What, it, what it's all about is you know being yourself. You know, uh, yep. Me personally, that's just you know who I am. So I welcome all individuals. Exactly. That's what we want. And that's what you know. That's what the people deserve. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Word. So, to my far left, middle left, my man Jay Street. Please give him a hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Street. Post left here, my man Joe Bellardo who runs the promote. I was about to say emoji. Emoji <laughs> <laughs> the house in Wilmington, Delaware, man. Beautiful Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah, we gotta give a round for that, too, man. We have a quite large selection of beers for this. We we usually only do one beer an episode. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. But we knew it was going to be a special episode mm -hmm. with Mr. J Street, and so I went online and I tailored all the beers strictly to the R and B sound and <laughs> coffee loving <laughs> brother that this dude is. <laughs> so we gonna get the familiar first. This right here is Sammy Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout. Nah, I mm. love that beer, dude. That's a great beer. I never tasty. had it. I never it's had it. It's good. So he got to have the first <laughs> one. Yeah. And you're not really a stout guy, right? I'm not really a stout guy. So, yeah, well, let's let's see what he... How, how, I want to hear your response I'm first. Hanging on it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. know that beer. Have you, you had it before. Have you? I haven't had that oh. one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. I'm a stout guy, but I didn't try that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just I don't know if it's just the way that you poured it, yeah. but it definitely pours with a nice head on it. Like you know what I'm saying? Pause. You know what I mean? Pause. Pause. You know what I mean? But, you, know, but, you, know, but, you know what I mean? You, got, you definitely did it the right way. I didn't even need to do that. Well done. All right, salute. All right. All right, so this is Sammy Smith. Let's see if they got a little story. They got a story on there? Sure, they, they do have a little story mm -hmm. on there. You want to hit them with? It's like a big story right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sammy Smith's organic chocolate stout. Brewed with water from the original brewery, well sunk in 1758. The gently roasted organic chocolate malt and real organic coca used an L in part. In it. <laughs> 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 it's a delicious, smooth, and creamy character with inviting deep flavors and a delightful finish. This is the perfect marriage of satisfying and a luxurious chocolate that will lead to the smiles and refills. Samuel Smith's brews and tradition coppers uses stone Yorkshire squares for <laughs> fermentation and ships every bottle from every brewing brewery with great pride. I'm telling you, that, that, sometimes we gotta Google. Well, I don't know what a Yorkshire stone is. I have no idea that's what it actually is. I can imagine yeah, something, but. <laughs> 
like a uh, like a An rock old, in England. So yeah, right, like right. British rock. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we throw a British just rock. Just call it British rock. We put a British rock. <laughs> 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 well, we got old water from the 1700s. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah, <laughs> Suddenly, I'm thinking this. This right, might need to be treated it, like, or something, you but know? yeah. <laughs> you might start seeing like unicorns. <laughs> <in the corners. laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? I, I want to, what, what we usually do is we <coughs> tell her the episodes uh, from the beer that we choose, and uh, we'll pick out whether it's the location that the beer came from or the uh, ingredients, and come up with you know uh, either a. Yeah, how, how it resonates to hip hop, or whether it's an artist that come from that uh, region or that okay. state or whatever. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I'm thinking, why not allow mm-hmm. you guys exactly to decipher this beer? Oh I shit! Know, right? Yeah, using, you using hip hop? Wow! 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 Okay. Experiences. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Holy oh, shit! Wow. Yo, so, like, can I pause real to? quick? What's up? It's my first time tasting this right here. Okay, okay, and and. I'm a chocolate lover. I'm not a chocolate lover, but I, I, I'm telling you, I just took a pop of this. I taste. Maybe I might be wrong, but I taste like. I taste a lot of caramel vanilla in this mm-hmm. thing right here. I like this, like. Said that I kind of taste some, some vanilla. You I taste me? vanilla. I, I, I do too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just me. I, I may be wrong. I, I, I'm no, saying. I'm, I'm feeling that too. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is dope right here, cuz. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie. This is, like, this is I don't like stouts, but this is like, I, I feel yeah. like this is a stout yeah, that I can. It's not bitter at all. Exactly. Nope. You know what I mean? Like, it's. You can find it pretty easy, too. Like, there's a spot oh, yeah. Yeah, right on, um, right, right by Trolley Square. Yeah. I can get it pretty easily. Mm. Yeah, exactly. This is dope right here. I like this, man. It's dope. So you just gave us like a major challenge here. That I, I get it, though. Yeah, and I like being thrown for a loop like that. Yeah. So what's what, 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 what's the home? What's the home? Uh, I'm not seeing the. Uh, See, I was. Oh, okay. I was oh, gonna it's, go it in says, a whole different direction. I was gonna yeah. say in reference to hip hop, yeah. I will say Slick Rick because he had the British accent. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Stone, you okay. Know? Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. And then the fact that it's that. organic, it's like that's how I'm trying to create exactly. my music. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Like exactly. it's a very organic process. Yes. Yeah. So yes. you know, dope. live instruments and all that exactly. kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Dope. You know? This is an yeah. analog beer. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I get it. Microphone issues with this thing on thing. The microphone. Oh, this what it's sitting there. You know what? Watch this. It's just gonna sit like that. It's all about balance, man. Yeah. It's all about balance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all about balance. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see the extra flash, like come on. Straight up. So like, we we got a we got a chocolate style here. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Hey, y'all. It, you know, I don't know how far I am, but you know, go ahead, go ahead, In your experience, right? Mm-hmm. Where do these flavors equal? I don't know if you got it. have like this little thing called synesthesia where they can like taste something or hear something that bring back a memory. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. This back anything in your in your career? So, no. But <laughs> I'm not gonna bullshit, you right, know what right, I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. But um this the chocolate part of it, um, you know, if I'm gonna make that stretch, you know, the sit down yeah. is for all the chocolate people Ooh. and specifically mm-hmm. the males, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause that's what that ex- that that's mm-hmm. what that is about. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, in terms of any specific I, I'm trying to think. Like, um, if I think about the the beer itself, like uh, any what, what kind of an association do I have specifically to this beer? Like this thing, the first time I tried it. Like I guess Guinness was one of the first beers that I really started to like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's that sort of connection. Right. But I can't really recall back enough when I started really drinking like Guinness. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. It was like a right. slow intro in the beer for me. I actually I was overseas doing music, yeah. and it was before like the beer craze hit. 
the states, right? And it was like in Germany, so yeah. they are they had to go bigger because it was fucking Germany. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, because it was Germany. Good, good. Um, and then I came back here and I was like trying to find good beer because yeah. like I had there, I was used to terrible American beer, and like right. you start searching and it, it, that that whole trend started to come here and right. it kind of built from there. Right. You know what, I mean? right. Mm. what about you, Joe? Um. I guess uh, if I had to say if it took me somewhere, it's gonna, it, it takes me all the way back, you know. Oh, man. It takes it takes me all the way back to before um, even doing any of this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Halloween. Huh. Little boy. Right. All that chocolate. Right. Right. right, right <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> cool. Right. Cool. Right. Right. Sorry, <laughs> right, man. So what That's- you think, man? What you think? I mean, I told you, man, like I told you, like even me just trying it out for the first time, yeah. me be so, I, I wouldn't say that I was, you know, I never was totally biased against stouts, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because there's some stouts that I do mess with, but you know, like sometimes I might go to a brewery or something and I might not get a stout because I know that ain't my wave, you know what I mean? Or what I is it about the stouts you I, don't really like? Um, Generally. Me? Personally, me, most stouts that I run across, they're either, like, see, the ones that's perfect for me, most stouts that I run across is, like, coffee. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cool. I'm not a coffee person, but some of them have it to the blend where you're not necessarily a coffee person, but you appreciate this. Some of them is over coffee. coffee you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Interesting. I mean? This one, I feel <clears throat> like this right here, I taste the coffee in it. But it also brings me different flavors to it. Like I said, like I, I taste vanilla in this and a little caramel. I might be sophisticated. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have the capacity. To like, <laughs> like I just know I like it. Yeah. But I don't. Like if you put all of that stuff, because that's what dog. And it seems mm-hmm. yeah. that's why he's a dolphin head guy exactly. because mm-hmm. he can see all that stuff. Yeah. And it's like, oh yeah, I taste it. I just mm-hmm. like I, I don't know. It's all right. <laughs> I'm kind of a yeah. doofus you know I mean? in that way. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, and naturally, like, like like I said, like I'm naturally like an IPA dude. You know what I mean? And even with don't and don't get it messed and screwed like I, even it's a lot of dogfish IPAs that I don't I don't really deal with like okay. I just you know what I'm saying but it's just especially you know being around my cousin you know what I'm saying like I didn't you know I taste different things like I wasn't to be honest with you even before it was IPAs like you're saying like I was just a regular Corona boy right right you know, right or, exactly you know what I'm saying or a Yangling or yeah. give me a Yangling I'm good like no you know no like, absolutely anything I didn't, as yep. far as craft beers I I wasn't even until you know I mean years ago like I didn't I didn't even know if it was any difference from regular Corona or or yep. or yep. Yangling or fucking Budweiser yep. you know what I'm saying for a while you know what I mean but but yeah like it, it's just definitely certain styles that that I appreciate you know what I mean like and it, and this is definitely be one of them. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Definitely. I would definitely grab one of these for the crib. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So you know what I mean? Bring back to when you mentioned coffee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> it's like a game show. <laughs> this is great. I got to finish this one. All right, so this one comes from California. Mm-hmm. And I actually have two of them. Okay. It ain't in can. You got to love that. Twice no. As, twice yep. as good. This is modern times. Modern times. How do you like find it? You just read and read and read. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? It was a Google search, man. Okay. <laughs> what were you searching for? I was searching for coffee flavor beer. Okay. So okay. this right here is it's a uh, mm-hmm. described. So this comes from San Diego, California, and it's described as a coffee roast beef stout. Okay. Don't be scared. I ain't scared. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember, do you remember the stout that I said? Do you remember the stout that I said? I had an idea about that I wanted us to make. Yeah. You remember? Okay. I forgot what it was. Though. Modern times. See, it was. It was about how I like my coffee. Exactly. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The cream and a little hazelnut or fresh vanilla. Yeah. French vanilla stout. I would. I would love that. I. This is like the most fun I've had in my life. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. 
We need to do this every Friday. Dude, a, 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 a group of, 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 of black beer connoisseurs. This is fucking heaven you know? to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is great. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it's, 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 it's funny that you mentioned black. Oh, I'm from You good. Oh, I don't shit. care about that. You good. No, I don't care about the phone. I'm on your computer. <laughs> it's been too worse than that. All right. <laughs> it's had a lot of beer on it. You know what I mean. All right. It's it's still some out. Right, it's alcohol abuse. <laughs> <laughs> right. But um, it, it, it's funny that you mentioned black beer connoisseurs. Yeah. I'm in a group on Facebook me, where we both are mm-hmm. uh, called Brothers and Craft Beer, and so it's brothers from all around the country mm-hmm. who just love craft beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A few of us are home brewers too, and some are even professional. Mm-hmm. And like almost every day, there's a post about black brewers not having a space in the industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a 1.4 billion dollar a year industry. It's crazy. And so they're uh, you know they're 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 doing a lot to try to you know just broaden the broaden the uh, our impact in it. You know, and even um, excuse me, what is? It? I believe there's like maybe one or two large breweries in California. Most of the black on breweries are in California. Well, that's like, a business sh- opportunity for us. It is, mm-hmm. exactly. Because there's, there's, there's a few black-owned restaurants out here in this region, yeah. mm-hmm. and so we distribute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I would, like, I had an idea to even just brew specialty beers for each restaurant, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. if that was possible. Mm-hmm. You know it know is. I mean? Yeah, because the only, only reason I can't sell the beer is because I brew it in my house. But if I was to brew it in a facility, mm-hmm. the facility oh, got you. Know I mean? you. We don't really, we don't really want to give them that game right there. We, hey, we, I mean, we, this no. is, a, you know, what I'm saying, we, <laughs> this is, we, we gonna all put we that together, to and we gonna, off, yeah. we gonna off, put, the, yeah, off, we gonna, yeah. we all gonna put that off the yeah. camera. You, so, we gotta, do yeah, you yeah. think? Because I know that mm-hmm. stereotypically, mm-hmm. you always, even like what we we're saying, like you sort of stereotypically associate this kind of a thing with like white dudes and really like yuppies, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like not even the redneck crowd, like right. it's like a specific kind mm-hmm. of white person that you associate this with, right? Yeah. So do you think that there is like a market, enough black people to market this kind of thing too? Because I, would, I want this, more of this. Yeah. Like this <laughs> is like, it's great, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And like I, the yeah. conversation we had Saturday where you were like really breaking down the process to me, I was like, man, right. this is like, I'm in like a small heaven. Like I got hip hop on here, yeah, like live yeah. a band and talking about beer. It's mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you, you there, there is, and, and you know what it is. Um, we haven't been marketed to, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You know, because the only marketing we ever got was um, oh, Billy D. Williams. Yes, mm-hmm. you know yeah, what I mean? yes. You know, I want the good shit. Baby. I want yeah. the good shit yeah. from Rob. We never, you know we never got, we never got marketed to. So, <laughs> so I'm saying it's an opportunity. No, it's a total opportunity. Yeah. Definitely. Like, how do we get Rob? To the next level. I want him to we be the next. We don't talk about it off camera. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 We have another meeting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. You know, like, it's, I, I love it, man. It's, that's what I try to. You know, we've been operating through love for 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 at least a year and a half now. Mm. And you know, it's like the people just been, you know, gravitating, and we've been moving towards the right folks. And like, it hasn't even had to be a decision. You know, right. It's like it's people like, are asking. Yeah, it's been fitting. It's organic. Yeah, yeah. Hey, cheers to that right there. Cheers to that right there. Oh, by the way, how you liking the how you liking the coffee in this one? I ain't trying it yet. I'm gonna oh, try it right now. You getting any hints of the coffee? This one's this one's a little more coffee than the mm-hmm. yeah, this, first one. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. The other one was a little more chocolate, and this is a little more coffee. Exactly. And it's funny because oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, it was, it was a it's basically uh, straight up coffee stuff. Got you. Yeah. And it's funny because I'm a coffee guy big yeah. time, but I like the chocolate stout yeah. in terms of when I have it with the beer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I think they just did such a good job making that beer in general. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. a good beer. Yeah. You ever had a uh, one of the, one of the stouts that made me pay attention to the ones that are all pay more attention. To stouts, other than the ones that I had, it was I can't even uh, remember the uh, company that made it, but it was a peanut butter and jelly stout. Yo, that shit, uh, Sweet Baby Jesus. Sweet Baby Jesus. Yo, that is 
that beer is delicious. <laughs> yes. Delicious. Yo. It's Yo. smooth. I tasted that. <laughs> yes. I was totally against stouts. I tasted yeah. that. I was That's like, the one. I said, yo, that was the first one. Yeah. I was like, yo, maybe I need to get these yeah. towards a second try. Like, because this is actually good. Like, I yeah. can drink this. Like, did you have it the, on, in a bottle or did you have it on tap? I had it. I actually had it in the bottle. I didn't even. On tap I don't even think better. I ever. Yeah, I know it's even better on tap. <laughs> I know it's even yeah. better on tap. In like Baltimore, somewhere in Maryland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, I think see, that's yeah. where it's from. Oh, it mm-hmm. I know it would have been better on tap. I, I yeah. and, and I appreciate it in the bottle, so I know it. Yes, no, that's even, a great beer. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one right there, man. Yeah. I had a second one, another peanut butter and jelly stout by mm-hmm. Lancaster Brewing Company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big gruesome. Yep. You know, Big gruesome. I think yeah. I tried theirs too. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, all right. Now, we all understand, like, you know, how creative black people are, and we understand how we take anything and put our own spin on it, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you give us a car, you give us a shoe, whatever, we, we put our own sort of swag to it. Mm-hmm. So, do you see that coming out in your beer? Like, how do black brewers... How, so, what's, what's the difference? Like, the way we cook everything. Like, how does it... Exactly. So, uh-huh. that's a good... Yeah, that's... <laughs> because I've made a beer... Last year called Mangus Common. Okay, okay. So I, I don't, I don't copy any recipe. Yeah. Don't give out the ingredients either, though. Like, I'm not. Okay. I wrote down. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So I, I uh, included the mangoes in this beer three different ways. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mangoes. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. That's where I got the name from, Mangus. 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 Mangus, Mangus okay. <laughs> and so I do got to get this up. I think I already did. So. One way that I uh, put the mangoes in was just straight into the boil, because you got to boil to to make the beer. Mm -hmm. Second way, as it was boiling, I had a bunch of, I had about three mangoes chopped up, and I baked it with (laughs) honey. We can edit it out. I know. We can edit it out. (laughs) (laughs) I baked it with honey, cinnamon, and uh, and, uh, brown sugar. Okay. So uh, once the once the boil was done, I took that out of the oven, I let that cool down, put it in the fermenter, and um, I, I put the uh, put the beer in the fermenter. It let it sit on that for a week. Mm. After that week was up, I uh, got about two or three more mangoes, mm. juiced them, and then I boiled up another uh, another small beer. It was just like you know a rim. It's a like, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. The cleaning is more work than anything, definitely. But you know, <laughs> and, right. uh, actually, I gotta clean some bottles tonight because I got a beer in the closet, in the closet that I got a bottle in. Mm-hmm. But, um, but uh, so yeah, I had that resting, and then I got the fresh mangoes, juice those. I made another uh, small beer with some fresh hops in it, gotcha. Put that on top of the existing beer, wow. let that set for another week and a half, yeah, dude. You don't understand. I, I maybe you maybe you do, but like yeah. I'm seeing yeah. what you're probably seeing, yeah. which is like it's an in, like the same way that you have a German beer. A German beer has its own thing. Yeah. An, an Irish, a, a British, you know, yeah. it's all like what is the I don't know what the words, but it's indigenous, black, whatever words you want to <laughs> yeah. use. But like what is it? The, what's the beer? What's the what's that market and what does that taste like? Because I'm gonna you give know? y'all if y'all don't know, I'll give you a little history lesson. Yeah. Um, beer was invented. Egypt. Yeah, ancient Egypt. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's ours, anyway. Yeah. yeah. What would it be? And you know it, what I mean? Their, the their beers be. were, were more fruity. Mm-hmm. Mango. Because, <laughs> That's exactly, funny. That's their funny. Beers were, were fruity. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> pause. So, yeah. Pause. <laughs> Second pause. <part. laughs> <laughs> I put lime in my beer, nigga. No. <laughs> 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 Lions and eagle feather wings. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh shit, that was good, though. <laughs> Yo, that was great right there. <laughs> good stuff. Wow. But but yeah, man. No, nah, but definitely, you know, as far as that, you know, it's a whole, I think there's a whole untapped mm-hmm. potential market, you know, even brewing certain beers that would be more attractive to women. Oh, yeah. You know, because mm-hmm. a lot of women don't don't drink beers. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's not mm-hmm. feminine, quote unquote, but, yeah. 
make some nice sexy yeah mm-hmm. sexy very true beers. I, I made yeah. I actually made a beer for my buddy Shot Money and um he asked if he wanted it to be shout out Shot Money shout out to Shot Money my man shout out Shot Money he 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 taught me the music uh side of things from the time I was like 16 mm. and he still teaches me stuff even now you know what I mean but that's my that's my brother man um have you ever heard of Project X I did hear Project X he was on Project X okay yeah but um so um I made a beer for him called Full Spin okay mm. that's his that's his entity he wanted like a trademark beer citrusy I put pineapples in there um more mangoes lemons um orange zest Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, just a bunch of stuff to make it real, real flavorful mm-hmm. from the uh, fruit and the zest and the uh, uh, citrus aspect. Mm-hmm. And also the hop characteristic that I put in there lended a big, uh, lended a big hand to add some melonish flavors. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, so that beer came out really good. Um, it was it was creamy, you know, almost. You know what I mean? Hmm. And uh, smooth. Cause you got to try it before I sent it down there, right? Cause I had it in the in the house for about yeah, 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 spin, yeah, yeah, that thing. yeah. And, that um, was I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, I was like, yo, I need more of that. Like, I mean, like, nah, but it's shot money. Like, yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, like that. That and to be honest with you, to be honest, totally honest. Yeah. That uh. The last one, Jack and John. Uh, Jack and John. Man, I what wish you, that? man, I wish we was able to sit and sit that. I wish we was able to sit this right there. Like, man, listen, that Jack and John. I'm like, yo, cuz we need to go, man. Listen, dude, I want that was get ridiculous. Where you belong with that. Like, I can totally. We, we got you know him. what I'm saying? Got you, you brought him to the right place. Yeah, yeah I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man, that that. Exactly. I'm an entrepreneur by trade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to break into it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, we gonna You got the key to it though, cause it it's love love is what it is. Cause yes, mm-hmm. you know, like people think it's wild because I, I I tell people like I haven't had a job in over a decade. Like yeah. I don't even remember having a job. But it and they're like, Well, how do you do it? Blah blah blah. It's good. It's love. Right. You know, mm-hmm. when when you sure. when you enjoy what you do and you love and you're just out here just moving just to be the best you mm-hmm. you can. There's nothing you can do but be successful. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, because I always tell people, don't chase paper. Mm-hmm. Build relationships. Chase relationships. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and even us being sitting here, you know, you guys who spoke to Dick, Jake, he texted me, hey, Joe, <laughs> they want to do the thing. They look out for the Yeah, you know, and so even, even you being here is... And the thing is, the funny thing was, I was like, Jay, I was just talking to Where? Rob Dorsey. We were just talking about beers. It was a full spin. Yeah, you know That's what I mean? how it works. So, yeah. I mean, the universe works like that, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, so just keep doing what you're doing. And it's like, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah it's, it's confirmed. Joe is, Jay is, Joe, Joe is dropping these gems. <laughs> it was a tongue yeah. twister. <laughs> Joe is dropping them gems. Right? Joe and the D is you silent. <laughs> Check us after the next beer. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, that's dope shit, yeah. man. Yo. Speaking of which, <laughs> earlier you mentioned something about peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got a peanut butter stout in there? Uh, hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Up there giving up the seat. Hold on, hold on. Before you go to that, um, yeah. where was that from, though? That was from San Diego, California. San Diego. This is a uh, modern town. San Diego. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and at the top it says Black House. I didn't even realize that. Mm. And that's yeah, seventy five percent. Oh, oh. Did you see the? Did you see the coffee? Uh, the coffee bean breakdown. That's actually in the beer. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Seventy five percent Ethiopian. 20- Holy oh, shit! Sumatra. That's fucking incredible. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's crazy. Did you know that ahead of time? No. That's my favorite coffee bean. Really? Ethiopia is my favorite bean. That's crazy. That is crazy. Who this makes is the picture this? That I sent you. I sent you a pic- I sent you a picture of Ethiopian coffee too. Dude, that's my favorite that's bean. Wild. That's where coffee's from, Ethiopia. Yeah. yeah. That's where it started. 
That shit is like everything started. That might explain a lot why this is more coffee, but I don't, I, I don't dislike it. I love it. Like I'm steady. I'm sipping. Where? This what thing. kind of a brewery is this place? Because again, it doesn't have that bitter. No, it's, it's not bitter at all. Sweet. Smooth. Yeah. It's smooth. Yep. It's sweet. It's like, nice and smooth. It's smooth. Holy it's, shit! You know, it, it just it just it just lends itself to you. It's like here, take. Right. <laughs> this is dope right here. I like that. Yeah, man. Wow. By the way, this is this is going back a little bit. Yeah. But the the first beer. Yeah. I just remember this. Only old school, probably old school New Yorkers would even know what this is. Oh snap. But that beer tastes like a chocolate egg cream. And that that's an old that's an yeah. old drink from even before. That's an interesting beer. So this beer is vegan that, too. They made in the um. Yeah. yeah. In the diners, they were making wow. this, uh, this beer is vegan. Wow. This beer is not vegan. vegan. That's sort of fun. This beer is not vegan, right? Yeah. 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 They were making it in the diners. It's called chocolate egg cream. Chocolate egg cream? I, yeah. heard, okay. I heard that before on a TV show. The chocolate egg cream, but I can't remember what it was. Like, it was a, it was something we watched growing up. I think it was popular, like, back in the 60s or something. Oh, you got me thinking now. Huh? It's one of the only breweries in the world to roast their own beans. But they also roast their own That's beans. Dope. And before I heard so you can beer, get some Covefe and some beer. Where is <laughs> this place? Time. He's <laughs> like, wait, I'm moving in. I'm gonna yeah. Go. Catch a flight. And it's Black House. That's crazy. Catch you know? a flight. There's no way it's a black owned brewery. That would be. No. That would be. But, but are there any breweries that, that's, that, that you got me thinking too? Like, are there any beers that's not non vegan? Yeah, how the hell? What does it look like? Let's just put it right on the can. We're going to put it right on the can, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> Before I even heard of this beer, when we started, when, you, when me and you started talking about growing a beer together, mm -hmm. what was the concept? I mean, this is what I think we would have made. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what we would have made. Right, right. We was going to roast them things. Yeah. And make some beer. Yeah. And like, um, I was watching. <laughs> this is what we would have made. That's crazy. <laughs> have you ever watched. That's funny. They call it Modern Time. You ever drink that? Uh, <laughs> what was the coffee that? Coffee beer is this? Tanzanian? Oh, Tanzanian. Is, is that good? Wawa. Most of the African coffees are, I mean, generally my favorite. I'm not just saying that to yeah. sound black. Like they, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not just saying yeah. that. Yeah. They have a sweeter, they're sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to like the South American ones, like they're more of a chocolatey flavor. So it's okay. funny because I like the chocolatey beers, yeah. but with the coffee, I like it to be sweeter. And okay. all of those African, like um, uh, the, there's a Burundi one that I like. Yeah. They're, it's actually sweeter than the Ethiopian, but the Ethiopian is mm. butter. It's a good blend. Mm -hmm. All those, like, and they're all kind of in the same region. Mm -hmm. They're all really, they have a much sweeter flavor to them. Oh, yeah. the, I, yeah. This might be a, a dumb question. I should have Googled it. Because I remember this country. Growing up, they mentioned <laughs> it in school. Where the hell is Papa New Guinea? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's no. right there. That's <laughs> another good one. It's a good one. All, that, that's, that's a good, um... So if, if I'm if I'm stuck like if I can't get Ethiopian I'm either gonna look for that yeah. or the or the, or the Burundi and it's See, all that same area. They've got yeah. Papua New Guinea coffee at the co at the uh, gas station on uh, two hundred two. It's probably frozen. Oh, wow. huh? No, it's good. It's, it's good. drip though. That shit is drip coffee. It's drip. It's drip. So okay, okay. You should be dripping up. You looking at them videos. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to give like the like what would be the beer equivalent of drip coffee, like versus like a pour over, like Miller Lite. Yes, oh, it's bad. just shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Starbucks would be like um, not even a Yingling to be honest. Like yeah. it's it's just not good. Like yeah. and once you really, it's it's the same thing. And it's weird because coffee is the one place where I can taste all those differences. Like yeah. the way you're talking about the dogfish head, and you're like, yeah. this that the coffee I can tell for some reason. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's when, because uh, that's how I was with, uh, uh, or that's how I started doing the beer stuff after I got a tutorial in tasting whiskey. That makes you know? sense. Yep. And so. Once I got the levels of, you know, whiskey and uh, how to drink it and try it on, you know, different parts of the palate, I went to a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. I was able to break out a couple of different things and started, you know, breaking down. Because at, 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 at a certain point, I was just getting craft beer just to, you know, have good flavors. Yeah. And not really, you know, discerning them from each other or whatever. Yep. But after all that, that's when I started to want, want to, you know, 
break it down, get into you know what what nah. the spirit and all that stuff. It's great, you know, and that that's that's actually what's helping me make make it make better here. Interesting, but that makes sense. It makes perfect yeah. sense, actually. You know, yeah. And so I just got one more question before you know I go into the fridge, <laughs> and um, that is. Are y'all ready for me to go into the <laughs> Always. I'm, I'm about ready I, was right to, I was trying to, I was trying to find out. Because uh, 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 I had a question too now that we was on the coffee. I thought I could bring up the exact thing where I seen it from. And you can give me the input on it. Yeah. But it was, um, I don't know whether it's from South America or it wasn't. But how this specific coffee is made. Okay. It's through the digestive system from the certain oh, animals. What that you know? Okay. What I'm talking about is that? Yeah. Like, like, I can so, think that, but but it, but it, you, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not faulting it or nothing because at the I've same never time, had it. I would try it. I have no problem trying. That's, that's what I'm saying. But basically, these the, the I forget what the animal is. That, you know what's crazy? I'm telling you, I, but I, I do not. Like, but at the same time, things. that animal is, that eats that certain. No, someone sent me that an article on this yeah. yesterday, I just which is yesterday incredible. Too. Yeah, I was, I, I was going to ask you, you on, on your intake on that. Not saying that, even saying that. I, that's what it is, right? That, that joint, yeah. Like, yeah, and, and that's the most, that's that's like a, but but you, but when you think about, coffee. when you think about, uh, uh, what they call them, uh, this is how, um, in other countries, delicacies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a delicacy. That, that's one of the most high-priced coffee beans like that. That's crazy. Yeah. You so the animal eats the actual, like the coffee uh, cherry and... It shits out the bean because it can't it fermentate, digest it. It fermentates. And then yeah. you take the bean and you roast yeah. that bean after it goes through that animal's digestive system. It's supposed to be like the you know most expensive coffee. Fine. <laughs> like it's just like it's like. I just want to stu- take on it. Like, what did, uh, I mean, I would try it, but yeah. like I really like my Ethiopian coffee, and I don't. I'm, I'm sure that number one. Okay, just based on the region because it's South American, mm-hmm. it's gonna have a chocolate thing, which is not my thing for the, for the for coffee specifically. Um, it's and really then it's gonna be chocolate coming from there. That's <laughs> 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 extra chocolate. Right, right, right. This beer tastes like shit. It's I mean, it's coffee. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like another. I don't call it a gimmick, but it doesn't make it any better. It's just a different process, and it's right. a unique process. So they charge you for it, and you're fucking stupid enough to pay for it. You know. Basically. Yeah. I mean, I'm not paying for that. If someone gives like, it to me, sure. But yeah. fuck out of here. It's like yeah. you know how they they sell you like barrel aged beers, right? Right. Do they have classification for that animal? This animal was kind of this <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, right. You know what I mean? One of them was, you know, vegan for a week. I, I, I mean, I, how do you break that up? I don't know. Like, I've seen the article, but I kind of haven't read past even what you read with that. Because it's just like, yeah, sure, I'll try it, but I'm not. It's just silly. You know what I mean? Like, that's I, some, I, I probably was out of pocket for that. But I haven't seen <laughs> it. Nah, <laughs> no, that was, that, was, that was crazy. That someone sent me, I, I've heard about it before, yeah. and somebody sent me that article yesterday. He's like, you, you like you, you like your fucking snotty ass coffee, so here, try that. Try that. And I was like, no. Nah, like, <laughs> but I was looking at it like, yo, that probably is. Like, somehow. That it's shit, like different. This shit probably is yeah. the best coffee, though. Like, I was like, Shit, literally. Because you would think that, like, yeah, like, you know? shit, like, damn, like, you know I mean, like, because in the same sense, like, like, when other things, it's like, uh, what, what, what's the other thing where, where they say it's a, like, even, even, like, well, just for lack of terms, like, even with caviar, you know, that's, that's like a, right. you know what I mean, I looked at it like that, but well, maybe, like, it's, I mean, it's a fish, there you go, honey, Honey's like beef shit, right? <laughs> Basically, huh? You make a point. <laughs> oh, my mind is blown right now. I love honey too. I'm never, never eating that again. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Yeah, I mean, like, so. Yeah. so now I'm late for shit, honey. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure she shits honey. That's it. <laughs> and definitely Queen B. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there. That's no <laughs> That's, That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's wild, man. Yeah. Yo. Y'all ready for me to get 
Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Now that yeah, we've talked about eating and not late for this honey shit, yeah. Is that joint really still on? That joint ain't cut off? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. My, my I'm camera sure that's off after about I'm, 17 minutes. I'm sure oh, that okay. shit been cut off, man. That was at least. That was at least. Oh, it doesn't have the time on, man. 17. I know that joint. That joint. We've been going for a while now. It did, right? Oh, my goodness. And we back. We're gonna have the audio. Y'all probably didn't need to hear what we just talked right, about. Right, it's a good thing you missed that. Yeah. <laughs> can I can I can I make a little run real quick? I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. I wanted to do that before you started it. But. Nah, as soon as I hit the button, I mean to uh, clear the little you know the thing that pops up on the screen. As soon as I hit that button, it just starts recording again. All right. But yeah, you can I, I got it, I got it pause. Peanut butter milk stout. Okay. I know What's that? Peanut butter. Milk and beaver, that's what it says? Yeah. Where is that? What, what, uh, Where you get that what, from? What, 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 I got these offline. This right here is from Oceanside, California. Hmm. Red Sun from Oakland, California. Hmm. Red Sun, California. Hmm. Red Sun from Oakland, California. Hmm. Any of that, from California. And is that, that's what I was going to say. So is that, does that, um, the same way that like California wines have their own thing? Uh, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Do, um... Like, does, do the hops from different so regions have a different flavor? Or like, yeah, like the um, the, pro- the, uh, the thing is with California, they have a very dry environment in certain mm-hmm. regions, but they also have very good weather all year round. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So they can, excuse me, they can grow hops like twenty four seven. The only issue is it's just so dry out there that a lot of them. So Southern California is the area mainly, or I believe so. I haven't okay. gotten into it with that, but they um like what does the weather have to be for hops? Like like this. You know, okay. Like, like springtime really start you know, you'll really start seeing hops. Okay. Like once you start growing hops, or once your hops start growing, they start coming in like weed season. Oh really? So, yeah, so they they, wow. they survivors and they, they really they growers. <laughs> what are hops? <laughs> They're a cousin plant to marijuana actually. Oh really? shit! Yeah, the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you know, they have a lot of them in California. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's legal. Though. Can you just grow hops all you want? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what you do? <clears throat> where can I find that? So that right there. Where can, where can I find that from up oh. there? From right there. That shit is. Dead. I love that shit right there. That's great. Damn. What was it? Is, I don't even know what it's called. That's it. Just... It's smooth and silky. <laughs> <laughs> I answer, that's clean. <laughs> <laughs> it's soft. Right, 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 that shit right. got a great sitting on it too. Like, yeah. <laughs> my fault. Where we at though? My fault. Right, <laughs> that was a sidebar, my fault. <laughs> nah, we love the sidebars. <laughs> so we back. And as you mentioned earlier about the peanut butter stuff that you had before with the peanut butter and jelly stuff. Yes, sir. We now have mm. our peanut butter milk stuff. Mm. From Belgian Beaver Brewing in Ocean. Did I say Cider Beaver? Ocean Side? Ocean Side? Ocean Side? Ocean Side, California. And um, it's about to be banging, I think, man. So, Have you had shout out Belgian Beaver, man. Okay. That's my first time. I had their peanut butter and chocolate stuff. And mm. I tried to get that, but it was so fucking good. I'm sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> now, so this is a straight up peanut butter style. Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. I don't think I've ever had a peanut butter style. I never no, did I never either. either. I like yeah. peanut butter. Yep. This is the first one. Yep. This is the first one. Hmm? Me. My fault. My fault, girl. My fault. Oh, this thing is still got star for me. It's getting packaged up. Oh, um, you know. As long as it stays on the ground. It's got to ship it. In the, yeah. In the... How long does it take those things to ship? It, it depends. It got to me. Three days, I think. Three right. or four days. Appreciate you. One of them had to. Um, I had to change the order. Whoa! Of the oh my health. goodness. Smell. That's heavy. That smell like Jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Holy shit! It does. Mm. That's crazy. Wow. Might have shorted myself again. He, but that's he, he's getting better with the pores now. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, that does a little more. That's heavy oh, peanut man, butter. Appreciate it. Yeah, that really smelled. The smell is yeah. really peanut butter. Wow. Yeah. So I'm not sure how they did that. 
Wow. Where did, where did, where, what's the, what state That's they from? Really good. California. 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 Yeah. That is really good. I've never, never had anything like this. Never even heard of Oceanside, California. That's dope right there, cuz. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I'm a peanut butter. I love peanut butter. You've so been talking like it's California it now, eh, cuz? Right? You know what's wild about this? Because. Mm. You still taste the stout, mm-hmm. but you taste the peanut butter at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I love this, yeah. though. That's what I was going to say. Yo, it's like one of them nut butters. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like I just walked to the corner store and bought a nutty <laughs> butter. <laughs> no, no lie. This is really good. <laughs> I wish I could chew this thing. What is this? I feel like I can no more. <laughs> no. no. That's wild. And that's the best part about stouts, like. You wow, get, that's crazy, man. You get, you get that thick flavorfulness. That's crazy, Why? man. You know, because you got to put a lot of extra malt into the beer yeah. to make this stuff. You know? mm. What does it's that mean? that they could get this taste. Yeah, like, so malts are not hops, right? What are malts? Malts are the sugars okay. that you uh, extract from the grain physically. So, like, yeah, so you got barley. Which you, a lot of times they roast the barley to give the, give the, give the hops a mm-hmm. darker color. And um, depending on the, just like coffee, like we talked about, depending on the Excuse amount me. of time that you roast the uh, the barley, right, it will also determine the flavor of the beer too. Gotcha. You. you know what I mean? So some of the hops could have added a, a, a flavor. I mean, I'm sorry. Some of the malts could have added the flavor that you taste like that that little bit of. It's it's almost like a like a vanilla like the other one that helps make it give it that that nut or butter taste with the uh, that 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 complements the peanut butter a little bit more. You know, and uh, also it gives it that that stout that stout flavor. You know what I mean. So you just go buy barley somewhere, like seriously. Yeah, you can. So is that what you do? Like, how do you get malt? Well, the way I do it, I go to uh, how do you brew on uh, well out Newark. Okay. And uh, they have all of the classifications already for you. With they ain't, the, uh, they, ain't, they ain't cutting no check for this either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with the uh, they yeah. have all the classifications <laughs> with the barley or whatever. Um, Shout right. out to them. All the, all, the, all, the, all the different types. The main type is two row, mm-hmm. which is what they make golden beers from mostly. It's just just two row barley, like uh, Miller Lite is a or Miller Miller, Miller and Budweiser. They're perfect examples of what you get with two row barley. Yeah. That's why I never use two row barley. Two row barley. What does that mean? Two row is basically just the uh, how they describe it. It's like I'm not okay. exactly sure. Like so, the um, they kind of look like really small. Like what are them things called on the wheats? Like on the thing. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I think I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. So they have two of them. Like yeah, so I guess they just have two of those. You know, okay. Like, cool. Twisted up, man. But they, cause they all when you get them at the store. Unless you have a uh, a meal at your house or whatever, when you if you're brewing, mm-hmm. you gotta get a meal there. You know, oh. so you crack open all of all of the grain for it. Mm-hmm. You know, interesting. Wow, <laughs> that's intense. All right, yeah. it really yeah. is a process. Yeah, so we the ones I usually get, I get the kind that gives you a caramel color with some of that aroma, mm-hmm. and also um, they have a they have a chocolate malt that's got that little bitter. Real chocolate, dark chocolate, you know, flavor. Okay. And, um, and, and uh, just a couple of the other, you know, golden, golden colors. You know? Okay. Cool. Yeah, man. All just interested to me because I don't know it anything is. about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a great thing. It's a great thing to be into, you know, especially when you love beer. Mm-hmm. You know. But this one right here, man. Let me see. I love this one right here, right? This is lie. really good. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. really good. I ain't gonna lie. Because like, it got real quiet. I'm like, <laughs> appreciating this right here. You hear me? Like, <laughs> shout out to them. Right. Oh. Yeah, that's a yeah. good beer. Shout out, shout out to you. Oh, wow. It's pretty new. Yeah. So here we go. America's favorite peanut butter milk stout. This silky smooth beer puts us on a map. Oh, put us on the map. Sorry about that. 
Mm-hmm. Troy came up with the idea of combining peanut butter with our beaver's milk stout, and he nailed it. Don't let the dark color fool you. This beer is delightfully easy to drink with cascading aromas of roasted peanuts, dark chocolate, and coffee. We appreciate your continued support of helping make this style our number one seller. Good yeah. times to you, my friend. Mm. And welcome to the Beaver's family. Cheers, mm. Tom. Cheers to you, Tom. Cheers, Tom. You brewing son of a... <laughs> I was yeah. going to say it, but I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Yep. So this beer is only 5.3%, too. Mm. You know, so it's a, it's a light one. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. really good. I never had anything like that before. So mm-hmm. Good call. Good choice. Yeah. How'd you get into beer? I'm going to interview you. <laughs> I'm really interested, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I started beer like... Started drinking beer like everybody else, getting a thirty pack of natural ice. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, it, it it it. I had a lot of I had a lot of nights. Okay. Of these thirty pack nights, and soon you just get to a point where you say enough is enough. Right. I'm gonna get a six pack of anyway. Mm-hmm. You step up in the world. This okay. is tastier. It tastes better. <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. And then. Next level. Then when you. Get over the England, you like, you know what I mean? Let me move up to this. Like, what else? Heineken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Move up to this Heineken. You start getting Heineken. And then Heineken starts coming into these one, they, they come out with these one gallon kegs or whatever. Yeah. That mm-hmm. you can just, you know, have for fun. Got over that. And then I tried my first craft beer, which was Golden Monkey. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yep. That thing. That was, was a slobber knocker. That was crazy. I, I remember. Not much. That night. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I don't remember that night. <laughs> right, right. It, was it was pretty strong, man, especially for my first one. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, we had got a few. And so, and, you know, I was also drinking, you know, that. You remember Juice? The movie? No. The, what the, the, the malt liquor. J O O S A. Oh, I know. For Loco. I seen it. For Loco. I remember For Loco, yeah. Gosh. Juice. That. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was uh, bad. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Some bad nights. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to ruin my life. It's come a long me, way. That's yeah, good. A long way. Yeah, it took yeah. me about a year. Right. It took me about a year of abusing Juice. myself and my, and, my, and my senses to say, you know what, man? Let me try to walk this straight and narrow and get these good beers. You know what I mean? I'm like, I love how better beers is straight and narrow. The decision isn't, I'm going to stop, stop drinking. drinking no. I'm getting clean now. No, it's like, I got to really get a better beer. I was going to be a quick drink. All right. All right. All right. I love that. You know, it's, hey, that's, you think stick to it. Absolutely. Yes, my man, 100%. <laughs> That's great. Yes, <laughs> That's <really> great. <laughs> I got to get my life together. <laughs> I need a better beer. Right, I need a better <laughs> beer. <laughs> I need a better beer. 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 I had an alcohol problem. <laughs> and you know how I got my life together? I made my own alcohol. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. The problem was I kept running out. <laughs> this show is not meant for recovery. <laughs> This show. Oh Does man, you? that Turn is the right best now. rationale. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, man. That so, good. since we are, what is this? Three, four, three. This is three. Yeah. Since we're three deep right now, mm-hmm. can you give us a little insight on the project? Sure. So, what kind of insight do you want? Like, ask me specific. Like, whatever insight you want, anything. I listened to myself. That's pretty much it. And it's not myself. It really is 
you know, I'm not going to cut corners. Like, it's God. Um, and I'm not trying to say that my shit is, like, so great because God made it. But, like, it's a conversation. It's like, I, I look at myself as um, a tool. You know what I'm saying? And I might not be the sharpest tool. Like, Stevie Wonder is the sharpest tool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Donnie Hathaway is as sharp as a tool. I'm okay. Like, I'm not that fucking sharp. Right. But you can still speak through me yeah. in, to some degree. You know what I'm saying? And I can I can project some messages. Um, but, you know, it, it was basically like, I started to see... Before I did the sit-down, like, I have... I've written plenty of music before. But it was mostly just, like, love songs and, like, typical singer-songwriter, like, you know... That kind of thing. It was cool, you know what I mean? But like, you start to get more involved, you start to pay attention, you start to mature and want to say something that's important and, and just, you know, find more value in life. And uh, all all these things start happening, you pay more attention right. and you want to say something. Like the couple, the two real incidents that really um, kind of shook me and woke me up was when Amy Joyner Francis okay. passed away. Excuse me. That shook me, you know, because that was right when I was having my daughter and I was like, have a daughter and like that is unfathomable to me you know what i mean and then um honestly that charleston uh church shooting it was just like i, I was like I, I i had to say something you know what i mean and then you start talking to yourself and you know that whole idea of god is within all of us you know you you start to hear things and he's like you had to go about it um so you know, it's just a constant conversation. It's it's the meditation thing. It really is. You just kind of try to silence yourself and listen to what needs to be said, almost in terms of the content, uh, in terms of the actual notes, in terms of, you know, the words. It's just like you have to learn how to shut the fuck up. Sorry. But you have to learn how to s silence yourself. And, and you know that this needs to be said, but how do I say it? Shh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not... You know, I haven't mastered the process. That's dope right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then you just finish it, you know? You keep, keep going until you know it's done. And it's the same thing. It's like, is it done? You know, yeah, it's done. Yeah. You know, and you just got to keep recording it until it feels right. You know what I mean? It's just like, like, you know, painter. I can't paint for shit, but it's like the painter knows when it's done. It's like, yeah, that's it. Right. Walk away. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. right. yeah. A little streak on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Like two inches long or ten by twenty-four. Yeah, and you, I mean you're <laughs> right. You make music, you know. Yeah. Like when yeah. you're doing a beat, it's like that's it. Right. You know, just you something says, you know. Yeah. And I really think part of that's instinct and it's just like you know, but like, you know, there is always a spiritual component to it, for me at least. You know what I mean? And it's just and I think you'll see that across the board with almost all art disciplines, you know what I mean? Even if you go to the really hardcore classical side, like Bach was writing everything with that very formal God, like that Christian God, like this is for God, and he was very much, you know, that was that was his thing, you know what I mean? So you know, you don't have to agree with his religion, but it was still spiritual for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the thought of buying the song. Yeah, you know, and I think it's very, very, very dope that you that you brought up the God within us all, um, because it, it really ties into you know even the conversation. We Saying that, you know, being an entrepreneur, doing everything you love and everything, attracting everything to you, and you know, it, it, it all comes full circle. Yep. Because, like, even though we're sitting here drinking these beers, <laughs> right. I don't, you know, I, I feel like there's no, there's no real uh, uh, barriers on <clears throat> what we can do. There's no real boundaries here. Right. You know what I mean? And, the ones that we put on ourselves, it's really, it's really, you know, hard to, it's, it's hard to break out of them when you've been conditioned from a uh, younger, young, yes. young you, sure. from a baby. Sure. You know what I mean? To be too afraid to, you know, like my man said, fear is false ever disappearing. You no, know but, mm -hmm. it's, it's, but it's, it's, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And there's like, so much false definitely. evidence out there. Oh, definitely. man. That's you the know thing. what I mean? Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Yeah, so like, you know, do you 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 act you you magnify the love dissipate the fear. Mm. Yeah. And fear is a difficult thing to conquer. Even like it is. I I so mean strong. It is. And like, you know, I'm not really successful musically on if you compare me to someone else, you know what I mean? Like locally, okay, I have a nice little buzz locally right now. That's great, feels good. And even for me, 
um, that level, this level of whatever success I have with this is still a little bit scary because it's like, even now people are like, what do you think? And I'm, I don't, I just talk and all of a sudden it's like, so what do you think about this? And I'm like, yeah. why, <laughs> like, I'm not special. You know what I mean? Like, you know, fine, I'll tell you what I think, but it's like, whoa, whoa. Well, don't like, funny, yeah. you know, it's like, I don't, yeah. I don't, like, I'm just saying what I feel. Don't start looking to me for like guidance, right, but it's yeah. like. It's a it's it's a scary thing. It really mm -hmm. is, you know. And it's like all of a sudden you have different things to consider, like how you know you have to really think more. I can't just be like, yeah. like oh shit, I gotta think. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. you have there's a certain responsibility. Like I can't just say some ill shit now. <laughs> you know, I can't be like, I don't know, with some really dumb something really stupid I could say right now that I don't mean. <laughs> don't even say. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, but like, you know. I'm not gonna be like I love Trump. You know what I mean. You know what I mean because that would really be like, oh damn, dude. Like you know. But at the same time, if if I want, I, I can't be afraid to disappoint people at the same time because there might be a hard truth that somebody needs to hear. Yeah. And it's like exactly. sorry, you can hate me. Exactly. You know. Exactly. But like, am I? The thing is, am I actually saying the truth? You know mm -hmm. what I mean from at least my perspective. Right. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> it's funny that you bring it up too because I get Wesley. On a, on a, he's he's been going hard. Yeah, you know, and um, there's a couple angles that you know I see because I got his Twitter notifications turned on. It's been my favorite TV show every day. Uh. Sure. <laughs> it's been my favorite TV. So he's show. still going. Yeah, he's been going. He's still okay. going. Um, he posted a bunch of pictures of like some rooms yesterday. I don't know what. what some rooms. Are. Yeah, just like different angles of rooms. Okay. I was like, the hell is this? <laughs> but yeah, so when um he typed that, I love Trump. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, this dude is about to get some heat. Of I don't course. know what he means. And then after that, all these, you know, all this stuff came out. It was like, you know, he had there was a video popped up and said, uh, he was saying, if I had voted, I would have voted for Trump, but I didn't vote. So. I honestly feel I'm genuinely concerned about Kanye West because I think that he really is not psychologically well right now. And I'm not yeah. trying to like break his balls or say like he's an idiot. Like yeah. the music that he made, those first two or three CDs were absolutely incredible. And I don't like you can't take the college dropout away like it was special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my bottom line is if you look who he's those Kardashians, those women destroy men like every one of those women if you look who their man is there's something fucked up with him and it's something about that family that just they're like you have you heard like the lorelei the story of the lorelei like no. basically they're like these female serpents that destroy men you know and, it's, you know it's crazy too bro like I, I'm, I'm definitely always there with you on that. i'm 100 yeah. percent with that but i feel like you still smash i feel like kanye is well aware <laughs> <laughs> not nah, like no nah, it's real shit <laughs> you're done like listen but I, I, I feel like pre-kids yes I feel but... like I feel like he's well aware of what he's doing though like, that's what I'm, but I'm I do you know what I'm saying like, nah, I feel I like think he's you well aware the devil and you get confused you feel what I'm saying like I feel like he's well aware like I, man come on man cause look at his track record he's very theatrical yeah. he did the whole thing with Taylor Swift he did, he, 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 like, he, did the whole, he did the whole George Bush don't like black people. He did he just he did the whole tirade against the fashion yeah. industry. Like mm -hmm. he just he's he likes to be the enemy. Like yeah. you know how some people Yeah, you know how exactly. Was, he likes to Kobe be the Bryant. villain. He likes to be the villain. Yeah. He likes to be the villain for yeah. one. You so, know what I mean? And then on top of that, like and then and then and then that's adding on to your to your uh you know not to make it up. A, a, a publicity raid because he's got a bigger name where he don't need publicity but right. at the same time but already with that publicity and you bringing that villain thing to you like I feel like that's another way of him bringing that villain thing to him mm -hmm. you know what I, I'm saying like I, 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 I understand it. where you're coming from yeah. totally you know what I mean I agree with everything you're saying but I'm I'm, I'm definitely adding that to it like you know what I mean I, I feel like it's even more than with what you saying because he's he's a crafty motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> he had played a dummy. Yeah. He had played a dummy before he actually beat a dummy. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. when everybody thinks he's a dummy, he's he's doing that for a whole and right. you know, you know what I'm saying? I think you're dealing with a really did, smart and insane person. He did the whole <laughs> yeah. fashion tirade right. and then the Yeezys blew up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like it's always something to it. You know, yeah. it's, always, it's it's a method behind the madness. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Like he was on Nike and even now he uh last he, he released what, two sneakers on Nike. I don't even really know what it was, but the second one was the Red October. Right. Selling for like $10,000 a pair. No, the Red Octobers is 15000 They 15000 now? The, re- the Red Octobers was 15000 a couple years ago. The, the Red Joints, when they, yeah. when they cut they it... Were limited, they were limited. Yeah, conditions. people was copping them joints from back then, and the only way you going to get them joints if you paying fifteen from it. Right. Yeah, some shit like that. And that was from... Yeah. Now, you know, he in Adidas now. But yeah. the Red Octobers was still in Nike, Nike. yeah. You, if you see somebody walking down the street with red Octobers, people are gonna be like, "Oh, they fake anyway." Like, I mean, you don't even see people walking with them on. Right. Now you talking about the Yeezys. You talking about the comfortable joints. Now people was talking about the comfortable Yeezys. Right. With the, you know, what I'm saying they ain't even talking about the red Octobers no more. No. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> the red Octobers is. Now you just talking about the Yeezys. Are you are you got the zebra joints or you got the all white ones. Right. You know what I'm saying or red. Octobers. You know, so all right, boom. So. Let me go to the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> His segues are great. <laughs> that was a segue. <laughs> also, let me go to the fridge. <laughs> Yo, all right. <laughs> so. Bourbon barrel stuff. Oh, oh my man. Goodness. Oh, man. So this right here. It's from Boonville, California. Boom. Boom. That just sounds interesting, right? Sound like hey, yo. Trump of love. Right. And, 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 and this is what I got to. Um, I got some questions myself, too, that I want to ask right. you, too, bro. As we pour in this, though. Because read that joint off. All right, so boom. Anderson Valley is the brewery. Bourbon Barrel Stout. Malt Beverage. I'm sorry. Malt Beverage L. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Malt beverage aged in wild turkey bourbon barrels. This mm. thing is okay. Six point nine percent, and um, they've been brewing since nineteen eighty seven. Wow! Wild that turkey be bourbon barrels. That should be wild interesting. It didn't, have the, bourbon it didn't have the bourbon in it. It had the barrel for the bourbon. Exactly. Well, you're being turkey, very strategic about your choices. How, turkey, how this is progressing? Barrels? Well done. Wild <laughs> turkey yeah. bourbon. <laughs> wild turkey bourbon barrels. <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You know, whiskey, <laughs> as we said in the last little segment, <laughs> is why I got into all this stuff. Yeah. And uh. Oh, so yeah. so this is this is full circle now. It's full circle, man. It's coming around. I got the bourbon barrels now. You know, dude. I want to make Black Rebels whiskey. Black Rebels. There you go. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's that? What's that right there? I don't know, but that's what oh, I want. It's whiskey. just that. I, yes, that's the whiskey. Yeah. That's the branding. You know what I mean? Probably not below ten percent. I gotta. I, 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 you even my question. I feel like I need to take some of this. I gotta ask my question off, off, off camera. What you mean? Because it's. That's the question. It's gotta be off camera. Like, 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 no, 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 no. I'm, ta- I'm talking about my personal one, yeah. as opposed to the original one. Though, yeah. Okay. Oh, so we got two. It wouldn't make sense to you unless you actually heard uh, my joint where I was coming from. What that? I got it. I might be tripping. Is that? Is that the? Is that the barrel? But I taste a little barley in it, like. You definitely. I taste, taste a little bourbon. barley in it, like. They got barley in it, right? I got. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they they use. I can. It's a stout with a barley in it. Yeah, they got the, the uh, A little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. See, I didn't match. You know I didn't match. You, know I, 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 you want it? Yeah. I got. I didn't. Right. It's right. Yeah, because they, they exactly. Got, the uh, wild turkey dry whiskey, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. That's what it is. Well done. Well done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nice. Nah, but what I was trying to get to, bro, was a uh, uh, video that I seen. Teddy? He was killing that joint, yeah. I appreciated that joint. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to give you props Absolutely. On that. that is a dope video. Officially. That was Elias dope. Muhammad, but yeah. Shout out to Elias. Shout out to Elias, 100%. Yeah, shout out to him. You know what I mean? And... and I appreciated that, and, and and it was crazy because because I sent it to me. You know, I'd be like, you know, like when it comes down to it's on, it's only about what. See, I, I I when it comes down to we so we so. Uh, uh well, I can't even say we. Majority of the time, when it comes to music from down here, you know, you would bump across uh, people that's influenced elsewhere, where it's not exactly coming off as Got organic you. in their own sound. Got you know what I'm saying? So he know like when when he sent that to me, he already knew like and how I feel about that. Like if they don't sound like originally yours. And he sent that to me, and I and I and I, huh. and I seen that, and I watched it, and I, I'm like, and I break, I, I I salute from the rip, you know what I'm saying? Like authentic, you know what I'm saying? It it was it didn't sound like it was from here or else or anywhere else. It was just hmm. it just came from you, you know what I'm saying? Like that's and 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 I told him that from the rip, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I give you credit for it because it's it, funny you it's, say that it, because that is one of the songs. And when I say that, God, I woke up in the middle of the night at like 3.30 in the morning and there was a melody in my head blaring. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like that. that, I was like, no, no, go go ahead. ahead. The only thing, as far as far as far as like the beat, Mm -hmm. as far as from it, the only thing that anybody could give me from that was... Or, or or even splashing on it was like, uh, uh, it was like a, uh, it reminded them of the wire. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the only thing. Yeah, the only yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as yeah. far as you doing you, all the way there. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm talking about, but 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 that goes into the feeling of what it gave them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it what it gave me. You know what I'm saying? It's like that raw. It was raw. It was raw, and it was. Giving you the essence of my poverty and what I'm around and what I'm right. seeing every day. So, Wilmington. so that wasn't never even. You know what I'm saying? So it, either way you put it, you have to give credit. You know what I'm saying? And then my man that was playing the guitar was he really need killing? Was he really need killing? Was he really no, no, killing it like beast. that? He's a beast. That's He's a beast. Right, man, listen. Black Mel's an animal. Hands down. Hands He's down. He's an animal. Hands He's down. He's like the most stylish, like man, just hands, a bad motherfucker. Hands down. Go ahead. My fault. I ain't mean to cut you up. Hands down. I, I appreciate it. You, yeah, listen, salute, that, man. That was the goal. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. and and every, at, at so many different pieces of that song, there were just those kinds of coincidences that um, are not coincidences. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know right, what I mean? Right. Like the way that the melody... Even to the point with the lives, like I would have never sought out a lives, but someone that I know worked with was like, "Hey, you have to meet this guy." And I was like, "Sure, whatever you say. Let's meet him and see how it goes." And from the gate, he was like, "This has to be this," and I was like, "Let's go." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you know, it, it wasn't just me. That video, the, that general concept with the book was Elias. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like everything is pushing to make that become itself. It's not right. just me. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. So yeah. that's dope. That's dope as fuck, man. Like. And they even and and my 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 thing is man like I feel like I say this to Cuz all the time too like you know like I feel like even with me personally my standpoint be, beyond us just being uh, uh, MTs or artists or whatever me my my thing is I I I saw him right you know what I'm saying so you know and. Working on a production type tip, but Cuz already got it mastered, in a sense. Hey, he, 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 he <laughs> forgot, no, 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 Sam. No, but I'm saying like further than he further than where I am, where I, you know what I mean, where I'm trying to get to. I didn't, but at the same time, but what I'm saying is, boom. 
each person, you know, I feel like each person is a vessel to the machine. You know what I'm saying? You do this over here. You, you take care of this over here. And, and as we as we work our own magic, we work as a machine. You know what I'm saying? That's that's you, exactly you it. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the way I'm kind of seeing it now, it's like, uh, so it's like, it's like, okay, I'm a conductor, right? I'm God. I'm God. I'm a conductor, right? And I have all these different instruments. But the trick is that the instruments have choice exactly. to be as good as they want to be. So exactly. if you, if, you know, I'm going to play this through you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need you to play these notes. Yeah. And you can listen. You can rebel and not play the notes. Yeah. Or you can be really good and play these fucking notes the right way. And if you could do that for me, please, it would be yeah. good for everyone. Right? Mm-hmm. But, you know, we have choice. So mm-hmm. we'll see how that violin plays. It might sound like shit, but it might be fucking great. But that's on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's dope as fuck. Like I, like I, like I, I can appreciate that. Like I, I can, you know what I'm saying? I see, it, especially seeing the the live joint when y'all was rocking out. Like it looked like a jam session to me. Like y'all, was just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I appreciate that, man. Like for real, man. I enjoy that just as well. Just having fun. I, I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Like you enjoy making your beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's you, you like doing it. I would not love doing that because, <laughs> like, I'm not that methodical and like. Yeah. The, the measurements and all those specifics, I just be like, here, oh, I'm yeah. throwing this much salt in today. I don't yeah. care, like, whatever happens. But, like, you're like, oh, I'm going to do this, that, and that, that's your thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, trust me, man, when you, when you go from looking at, you know, what other people are doing, and you look at YouTube, you look at enough YouTube videos, mm. it's easy. You know what I mean? And, um, like, uh, oh, the main measurements that I get are like, you know, the weight of the grain. And I get that done straight out the store. Mm-hmm. I'll be cheating. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Reasons not to do it live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you post. Right. That little something called post production. Yes, 100%. Know? Word. So, like, so here we go. So, we have here a <laughs> uh, whiskey bourbon barrel aged beer. Whiskey is not too many. It's very smooth. You know what I mean? It's a little harsh. But, you know, at the end of the day, it gets the job done. You know what I mean? I got a bit of a question to pose to both of y'all. And I gotta see again if you guys can roll this into, you know, your individual you know, experiences here. So we're talking about the flavors. Yeah, we talking about we talking about uh, we talking about correlating the um, the smoothness of the. Uh, so we going purely on the whiskey, okay? As it okay. gets infused into the beer, mm-hmm. okay. the smoothness that it gives to it, but also realizing the harshness. Also, like it's basically this beer is almost like a metaphor for everyday life here. Almost, you know, it can go smooth with harshness all around it, but. Yeah, you know, and that's what I was thinking too. Is um, it's kind of like what we're doing now, you know. Um, you know, we're as we're moving in love and doing things we enjoy doing, you know, making podcasts, doing music, even you know, running a Mojo House here. You know, these are things. No one's no one paid us to do that. Right. You know what I mean. These are things we were called to do. And you know, you guys, you do your music and all the things you do. It's like, we're just called to do it. And in the process of doing it, you know, that's where that smoothness comes in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But all around us is all, you know, our, our paths are strewn with problems and challenges. There's all kinds of rough things all around us. Right. But we we just keep flowing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, um, as long as we're moving in that direction or in that st- in that way, mm-hmm. it's always gonna work out. Like it's like we were saying earlier, fear and love. Right. You know, there's all these things around, all this roughness, this coarseness. Mm-hmm. It, it it can be fearful if you allow it to, but if you go, nah, 
I'm steadfast to what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to do this podcast. It don't, ma- yeah. it don't matter if nobody listens to it. Right? Mm-hmm. We're doing it because we just love doing it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <Most definitely. laughs> yeah. What I, I, there was... Um, I, what, it might have been Brantford Marsalis, one of the Marsalis that said, to your point about if no one listens to it, he said you have to be comfortable um, playing to a crowd of nobody. You're just doing it for the love. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's what it is. And, and eventually, people will hear it. You know what yeah. I mean? And they come. It yeah, attracts. Man. You come. Once you yeah. reach that certain, you know, sort of critical mass or whatever, it's like, mm-hmm. you just like, it's, it's a magnet. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to keep doing this, dude. This yeah. is a great concept and it's totally yeah. unique. Like, you know, yeah, like to, yeah. to be able to see. I told you, was, was, he the one that put me on the Nori, so we conceptualized this, you know, all together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's why it was very, very important for him to be there, man. Because he, he, got, yeah. he got to leave for work at what, 4.40 in the morning? Mm. Like 4.30, yeah. 4:30 I'm good, man. Like, he's he's there, you know, he here, he's grinding, you know what I mean? I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all y'all. Yeah, I, mean, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, bro. You know what I mean? I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, listen. Dude, uh, four, four black dudes sitting in the house <laughs> expounding on, on making, you know, whiskey beer a metaphor. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't see that shit everywhere. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Wait, all of a sudden, Joe is like, I'm like, damn, Joe. <laughs> I think you went deep, but that was deep. <laughs> <laughs> Even now that we have money. Right, 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 right. Wait, wait, wait. We sound like complete morons <laughs> right now, but we're drunk. <laughs> wait. I'm going to be editing this. That was the like, dumbest shit I ever heard. <laughs> Did you just say Sanaa Lathan shits, honey? No, son. No. <laughs> Telling y'all, man, like yo, yeah. I wanna like, even though, even though the camera recording, but off camera though, I do want y'all to hear this joint though, man, like <laughs> the joint that I uh, I wrote called "Victims of the Ghetto." Yeah. Okay, I feel like this, like, and I, I feel like this is it, it, it correlates to your song, also. I mean, I, I've been had it out, whatever I've been did it. And every time, you know, it's crazy, I come out with new shit. And then people that heard it before, like, they come across me, they be like, yo, did you drop my shit? Yeah. Oh, I'm right. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, nah. I'm like, I got some other shit. Like, nah, I need to hear that, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and you know what I mean? When I, I want to actually sit down and let you hear that and get your intake on it. Yeah, because it's speaking on the same things like nah. the, the shit that we go around through. Like you know what I mean, like that need to be spoken on. That's unspoken. That you know needs I mean? to be heard in you know exactly. every way you know what possible. What <laughs> exactly. You know what I right. mean? Right. I really want you to hear that, man. Like, uh, if possible, you know what I mean. But, but I love it. I, I love. I love this shit right here. What we doing, man? Like, it's totally unique and totally authentic and real. And so unique. necessary. It's exactly, you know what I mean? And like, here's a, um, I want to, let's, let's try to get into another aspect, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Jay, what's your favorite mode of transportation? Motorcycle, 100%, you know that. Motorcycle? Absolutely. <laughs> it, that, that's literally like, it's instant gratification for me. Um, and it's the, o- not the only time, but it's like the easiest way for me to just feel like I'm flying. It's it's that it's free, yeah. it's completely free, and the sound of it, right. the feel of it, like because you know for there's for some reason the difference between the the way that um, you have to uh, mm-hmm. maneuver two wheels versus four it's yeah. different, and just that the physics of that makes it a completely unique yeah. feeling. You know yeah. what I mean? And you yeah. can't explain it. It's almost like trying to explain what this tastes like. like you have to fucking right. taste it. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So there's nothing better for me. You know, yeah. for, it's, it's as close as I can get to flying. I'm afraid of heights. I don't want to go yeah. that high. So I'm just going to stay here and fly on the ground. <laughs> but yeah, no, a motorcycle for sure. Just, without a question. Is it, um, is it about how fast you go? Or no. Just the agility? For me, no. It's the, the agility and it's yeah. the feeling the of feeling. floating. Yeah. It's yeah. like you really feel like you're floating. And because I'm a musician, I think to some extent, like, 
that engine has its own rhythm. You know, it, it has. Like, it's a specific. You know it's going to vibrate this many times in a minute. RPMs, you know what right. I'm saying? Yep. Um, and once you get it at a certain vibration, it's just perfect. It's like you're humming. Like, it's like you're literally humming along right. down the road. And that's the, those are the times where I get complete clarity. Yeah. And, especially in the fucked up world, I'm sorry. But in, in the world we live in now, like, I'm, I, I can't be on this phone on my motorcycle or I'll kill myself. Yeah. Right. I can drive and do that. This is completely disconnects me from everything. Right. I'm, right. I'm totally separated from the digital stuff. And I'm... The, uh, you, you also have to use um, all of your different senses. And not smell so much. But, like, it completely occupies your brain. So yeah. all the same way that you would meditate to clear everything out, yeah. it does that for me. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing else. I'm, I can't think about so much. Like I can't. If, if I'm on the road and I'm thinking about, you know, whatever stress, yeah. no, you got to cut you on the road right yeah. now because somebody might cut you off. Right. So you have to pay attention, and that clears you out yeah. right. in a weird way. I feel you on that one. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Hmm. That's why. Right. Yeah. You know, with that being said, honestly, I. I gotta go to the fridge. <laughs> 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 Best transitions ever. Yeah. And I brought that up. Even though you kind of put a hole in my last, uh, you know, segue. Mm. Because it wasn't about how fast you go. Mm. But here is Speedway Stout. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this right guy's here. methodical. Oh. Shit. Yeah, but then the Smith. You gotta put that in the camera, man. Oh, man. Right. That's, is it still recording? Right is it still, still recording? It's right. San Diego. Right, it's probably yeah, shut up. You know it's shut up. Make sure that's you know recording. It's, it's still going. It's okay, still going. That's, that's oh. serious stuff. Right wow. There. You gotta put wow. that in the camera face right there. Yeah. That's like, I wish this thing. Well was done, Rob. That's like popping bottles. Yeah. You know? <laughs> 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 wow. Yo, you sure that's a beer? Right, it's I don't even look at it. Like, <laughs> Did you show that's a beer? This is, um, so, this is a 12% right here. Oh, oh okay. He, okay, now he's yeah. trying to put us to sleep. Yes. This okay. is about what my new one is going to be. Okay. This, um, okay, hold on. I mean, By the way, this opens Sorry, up, y'all. so if y'all can. Let me step off. Let me go. Okay, let me step yeah, off. Yeah, <laughs> 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 if, 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 if somebody can make it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm surprisingly like not that fucked up right now. So. Yeah, man, all that man. spacing it out, you know what I mean? No, yeah. well done, dude. And, and by the way, sick. grab some chips if y'all need some. Oh, yeah. Something on your stomach. Thanks yep. again for that, man. I had to. I was like, wait, we drink, we drinking beers? Yeah. I, I got to get some chips. Well done. <laughs> 100% well done. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, I'm glad I did it now. Yeah. <laughs> Especially <laughs> now, right? Yeah, right? You busted out the 12%er. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, we need some chips. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the 12% nation. <laughs> right, right, right. This is like an initiation right now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. So, okay, okay. Um, when you did the one with Dom, did you did you yeah. keep drinking and drinking? Like, you know? We had... Everybody can't no, get yeah. through this podcast. You know? right? So, with the one with Dom, we did two beers. Well, we, it was the same beer. We just... Two of them during the podcast. Okay. Yeah. That podcast was like 54 minutes long. Wow. Okay. And, um, you know, wow. it was, uh, yeah. Where are these guys? San Diego. Everything's going on in San Diego. You know? <laughs> I'm going to have to visit there. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It just so happened that the majority of these beers came from California, man. You know? I don't know why everything out there, like, they're so, they they're always so ahead of the curve out yeah. there. I don't know what it is about that area. I yeah. think they like feel each other, you know, like yeah, you know, it's somebody just, up the street maybe you like, hold up, I'm going yeah. to learn. Like you know, <laughs> they just do everything at a like everything is always better out there. Yeah. Like, the bike culture is way better out there than out there. It is. Oh my god, it's the yeah. weather. Too. The weather definitely makes a difference. Oh yeah. Um, but no, the bike culture out there is like just completely superior. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Like, well, you know, over here on the East Coast, we got horrible roads, man. Yeah. Oh, total shit. <laughs> yeah. We got like the worst world. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The uh the potholes, the rain, the cracks. Yeah. Yeah. The levels. Yeah. The change in temperature. Rolls. Changing the seasons. Yeah. It throws everything up. Yeah. Boom. Boom. So now we're on to L. Smith's Speedway Stout. That's a big hitter. Dang. 12% gone. Yeah, I said John. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Got a little puppy 
Ryan You didn't know that? No, I didn't even read that. Yeah, I just saw that. I thought you... I, yeah. Ryan Bros. Coffee. Nothing happens by coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> <Very true. laughs> so right, crazy. You know what? I'm going to go here first now. Okay, we're going to reverse. Yeah, you know. I just feel That's like... That's only right. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Now y'all can get the middle of the bottle flavor. Make sure you get yourself good, dude. Yeah, get yourself right. Yeah, you're bullshit. Right, give yourself another little hit. Ah, there you go. I'll take it to the leaf. <laughs> right. Because I gotta make sure y'all get y'all's time when I'm here. <laughs> this feels like more than a pint. Hit me light. Hit me light. That's definitely more than a pint. That's right. So we got some left over. <laughs> Sweet. You got a good nose, man. Man, you good. Oh, <laughs> you good. You good. <laughs> you can slur. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that smells good. What is that? It does. Wait, what's in here? I gotta look at the bottle. Yeah, it's cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're milking that thing. <laughs> This oh. one, this one, like a, I feel like this one got a little Imperial more fruits style. in it. It does, right? It's Don't imperial smell it. with coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah, imperial is like beer talk for strong as hell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's got like that, that, like that barley taste, and got the fruits in Chocolate it. It got the fruits in it, man. Salts. Yeah, dark fruit, toffee. You can smell and taste Caramel. the alcohol, but yeah, yeah, yeah I got what you said. Nah, but I'm a. I mean, I'm, I'm a liquor drinker, so. <laughs> it could also be that toffee that's in there. Yeah, it's like, toffee. Especially if they, if, if, uh, depending on the way they incorporate it, there's a, mm. a lot of times when you add sugars to your beer, you got a, um, you got a chance of it, like, getting caught in the bottom of your pot and scorching. You have to add, add like, some burning oh. flavors. Like, because, like, um, it's, 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 it's pretty smoky. Got you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like yeah. how some people want their French fries or bacon yeah, like yeah, yeah, burnt. Some, yeah. The same idea, right? Yeah, it got some smoke in there. Yeah. Yeah. It got some smoke flavor in there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, now that you're saying that, I taste that in this. No, totally. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. 100%. Water, man. Funny, I'm actually, um, I think because I'm <laughs> I feel like having to pay more now. attention now, <laughs> but I'm noticing more yeah. of the shit that I normally don't notice. That's what it's about. And I think it's because I'm like being more conscious of it. It's funny. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's about, you know? Because, um, you know, we, we, we got to sit, we have to um, analyze, and we got to apply. But that's right. Yeah. That's dead ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, listen, I'm having a good <laughs> time ass. with people <laughs> getting ass. drunk right now. But yeah. past that, yeah. sensitivity matters. Like, you pay mm -hmm. attention. Like, pay attention. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you fucking feel? You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. And that's a metaphor for life. Man. That's, that's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. You pay attention, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you know, you talk, you know, taking back to the song Teddy, yeah. it's like that stuff is going on every day. Yeah. Hell yeah, and, man. And, and to the point where we don't even pay attention Stop. to it no more. Ah, I heard it. You get numb to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. Uh, so that little event I did yesterday, um, with the inspired thing in Wilmington, whatever. Oh, whatever. I saw a picture. Oh, yeah. The it's governor. The good. governor comes out, right? Oh, my gosh. And he goes. Yeah, nice guy. Totally, like, I understand. He wasn't, I don't think he's racist. I'm not trying to say that by no, any means. No. Good guy, right? Right. He comes out and he says, <laughs> he says, Wilmington is so safe. Because like, Wilmington is a perfectly safe place, so on and so forth. And, like, I see the cops out all the time. And the cops are friendly to the people. They talk. And I see more cops. And it's great. Oh, man. And, <laughs> and I'm like... Are that's because that's because every time you come into town, my neighborhood. He says he says my neighborhood is perfect. I'm like, yeah, your neighborhood. You the fucking <laughs> governor, bro. You know, I'm like, are you out of your mind? So where, where is he at? I don't even know, but he's a governor. He's man. the goddamn governor. So I let it rock. I didn't actually say anything until some other lady from the audience was like, excuse me. Like, oh, right. hell no. I can't let that go. <laughs> she was, not, she was so, like, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna just... I was trying to chill. Like, I wasn't trying to be that guy this time. <laughs> but then she said something. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. If you're poor and minority, it's fucking not safe. And if you are a middle class and above white it's person, like you're safe. perfectly fine. And he had, he had the nerve to then respond, like saying, 
well, I think this, and I was like, stop. Then I said something yeah. back. Right, I was let, like, let, let, let me take you like, over to South Ridge. That's second. exactly what I said. If you go down Clifford Brown Walk, if you go North Market Street, if you go down Fourth Street, there's not, like, stop it. Dude. Stop it. And, he's, and I said, I'm not trying to argue, but, like, bro, like, come on. Man. That's just the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> so, like, it's not. What happened your memory card? My battery died. Wow. <laughs> Well, honestly, dude, we got a lot of good stuff. We did. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a lot. We did. Yeah, we did. This is true. Uh, yeah. I, I think you're great. You sure. I'm good. I mean, it's it, we're good either way. I mean, you can yeah. plug in whatever you right, want to do or, right. or not. But just don't worry about it. We don't yeah. Food. I mean, it's whatever. That can even be like a part one. Like, yeah, we, right, like, we, might, have be like, we might have to meet yeah, back like, up again. Like, <laughs> yeah, you need to do it. more of these, dude. Like, it's <laughs> really, like, it's, 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 it's totally unique. Yes, sir. You know, you know. I feel like, especially with uh, just the conversations we've been having, you know, that could be a segment in its own. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's 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 been dope. Yeah, there's so many different segues you can take from the night. I can just yeah. like you said, just run with that one. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I love the the beer metaphor thing. It's yeah. totally. I was, like, I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, oh! I, I, I had to totally. You I, I have like, to think for yeah, a second. Yeah, I was like, "Oh shit!" I'm trying to be yeah. mindless. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. You know? you know that's what it's all about, you know, because we, they, they associate, you know, drinking with ignorance and stuff, you know, right. a lot, bruh. Right. You know, so can't can't let it can't let it happen. That's what's going to really change a lot of things, you know. Mm-hmm. They 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 put all of our celebrities in, into the, the forefront of these alcohol beverages yeah. making us break the bank on bullshit right. drinks. And you make a really good point. You know? You make a really good point that I never thought about. Word. And like, you know, Syrah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't um, have to be associated with big asses and partying. Like yeah, right. no, that's, yeah. The, that's the way they that's the way they're marketing it. But there's a whole nother, you know, there's a whole nother aspect. And, and 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 again, that's what I was going to before when I was talking about yeah. with people's voice, because the corporate world puts out the message of what it is, mm-hmm. and so that becomes reality. Yeah. So then it becomes oh, this is what black people are all about, like yeah. big booties and whatever. Exactly. But. There's so many layers to to all of us, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. we could be nerds, yeah, you know, or whatever. Yeah, like, you know, we could up. be into science, we could be into whatever. Yeah. You don't even know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But but because that's not being put out there, it doesn't exist. Right. You know, because that's what history, because um, I started breaking down history of what it meant. And history is the study of the written word. Right. So history isn't the study of what actually happened. Because yeah. I used to always think, oh, Fair history enough. history means whatever happened. No, no if yeah. it wasn't written, then it's not history. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so the media is so important. That's why I started connecting it. Like, the media yeah. is so important because history is the written word. Yeah. Mm. And whatever is written, whoever tells the story is telling the story. The, yeah. what, you know, what people say is the truth. It's crazy, man. Very true, yeah. yeah. But you know, with the camera being off, I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. What you can do, because I I have um, extensive background and I used to do retail management and all that kind of stuff. Um, especially now that there's more and more black owned uh, restaurants and stuff. So what you gotta do is become a salesperson. Yeah. You bring the beers into yeah. the store. All because these soul food spots. This, like, yeah, yeah, you know, you got um, yeah. Stone Oven. Yeah. You got um yep across um, the street from there right up yeah yeah and you got um what you call them um, celebrations spot. on market oh, oh, shit. oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry that's alright we're uh, we're uh, sweeping up everything but the Jamaican spot too yeah yes um they were keeping it going well, that's <laughs> <laughs> alright. It's, yeah, right there, right in the kitchen, right there to back. Yeah, it's it's because what we were saying was so powerful. <laughs> the energy, the energy just made it right, right, right. fly. Right. <laughs> uh, it's great. That's the power, man. Yeah. But yeah, you just gotta become you just gotta become a salesperson. Because this is what this is what the alcohol companies already do. They come down and 
they give, you know, you got to market what just, you know, the, the beer or whatever, and you'd be like, bro, here's the, the, the special glass for it. Yeah. I mean, if, bu- if Bud Light can sell their bullshit, you know, you can sell yeah. some quality shit. Yeah, yeah. You, you know? just got to send, you just got to send people out. Like, right. you have a totally yeah. unique space, dude, but yeah. you, you got to fucking figure that shit out, because it's really great. Yeah. Honestly, like, no bullshit. Thank you, man. And I'm, I'm a... Uh... So the, the one that I have in the in the in the cupboard now fermenting. Yeah, what are you making now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a a new uh, iteration to to a to a recipe I came up with last year. Okay. To uh, turn a green tea into a beer. I think did you you were so, talking about that last Saturday, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. 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 And so I'm bottling that. <laughs> this glass. I'm bottling that tonight or uh, tomorrow. How long have you been making that one? This, uh, I brewed it two weeks ago. Okay. And, um... It was like a two-week turnaround? Just about. So after mm-hmm. I, when I bottle it, it, it'll sit in the bottles for another week. And um, then it'll be carbonated, which will, uh... We'll be able to drink that. Yeah. So, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, I want to talk to... Um, I have the sit-down show coming on 6-8. Yeah. If I'd have known ahead of time, what I would have figured out is how you can bring your beer and sell it there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wish I could. Like, beer, uh, beer is so regulated. Like, alcohol is so regulated. Like, you got to do this license and that. Yeah, I would have to. But you can get like a day. Like a, a you day can get the, yeah, yeah, pretty you, easy. You can get the one day. Yeah. The one day. There's already the alcohol beer. being sold at the event. Because yeah. The, yeah, beer, so. the beer and wine is, is actually cheaper than the liquor. Oh. And it's, it's I think there's some glass... Some back there? Oh, yeah. It's because I manufacture it in my house. Mm-hmm. Oh, you so, can't sell it? Exactly. I would have to I would have to physically manufacture it somewhere else. Uh, and um, even then, I would have to, uh, once I have it in, uh, in containers, mm-hmm. I would have to uh, ship it out to a distribution center. Oh, my and God. And have it, have it shipped back to me. So how did Dogfish oh, wow. Head get, get to where exactly they got? That's so it's exactly it, how they did it. So That's how they did it. He bought a logistics company. In, in, the, pl- <laughs> in, the, pl- in the place, in the place where you um, manufacture, is there any regulation on where that can be or what it has to be? Mm-hmm. Um, it has to just be a sanitary space. Or a space so that I can keep sanitary. That it isn't be, your house? It could be anywhere. Yeah. It could be a garage. You can make it here. It's got to be separate from my, from my house. That's it. Yeah. I would, you know. I mean... I can clean out my garage. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but this is what we're talking about. Like, if we just open up, if, if, if we had a couple of people put it on a really cheap fucking spot, yeah. it's the shittiest of spots. Right. It doesn't have to be a nice place. Just right. where he can store his alcohol. Right. I got a garage. All right. of a sudden, that's right. a brewery. Right. You understand? Yeah, because... Of course um, you understand. Because, yeah, cause this is what Mojo House is for. You know what I mean? This is what we do. Like, we, we're here... We started this to help to build community. Because then he could brew his beer here and he could sell it somewhere else. Yeah. Like I said, I got a garage. I'll clean it out. And you, it's big enough to, you can have gallons going on in there. And I'm down to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and that means y'all get first dibs. <laughs> That's all I need. You don't even have to. You don't have to no, dude, we, we got to get you where you belong, dude, because yeah. the shit is like, it's, just, it's obvious to me. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just it's it's as simple as just let's whenever you're ready, man. Like I said, the garage is right is right back, so nobody got to know what's going on back there. That's <laughs> awesome. Because <laughs> I, I mean, the setup is pretty much portable. Yeah. Um, I brew with propane, and uh, I got electric in there too. By the way, if you need if you need electric, I got electric. Yeah. In there. Um. Yeah, because uh-huh. I got a pump that I use. The new Mojo Brewery. Cool. <laughs> fucking awesome. I said you mowed your brewery. <laughs> Stitch house, you mowed your house. You know? There you go. That's fucking awesome. That's crazy. That would be dope. I could just see that on the lake. That would be fucking dope. Yo, that's... Right back. Uh-huh. Yes, that's awesome. That shit dope as shit right there, That's dope as shit. There's no beer like that. That shit dope as shit You know what I mean? Put a fucking black fist on the fucking label like, yeah, I'm buying that shit. Right. <laughs> you kidding me? Um, look, put the hoop. Yes, 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 yes. 
<laughs> and you that can, shit work. There are so many different themes, like all of those different things, like that G mm. rep, right? That that the fucking that that. Right. Thing is you can make a G rep beer. Totally, that, that'd be, mm. bruh. That'd be dope, bruh. <laughs> bruh, bruh. That, <laughs> it's so many different. Dang, we got um, like so many opportunities, people, like, man. So ma- like, because you know what I'm thinking too. Like, especially like if we're trying to, if we want make beer, it organic, whatever. And we're trying to market to you know black people, whatever. Like yes, West Side beer. Yes, give your North own side. shit. Yes, yeah, yeah. like make a different yeah West Side group. stout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Market Street, stout. Fourth Street stout. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. that's <laughs> it. Like Clifford Brown, right? You know what I mean? Clifford <laughs> Brown, Brown IPA. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's it though. That's the dead ass. Right. Like <laughs> that's how we do our own shit. Yo, I really. What are you making a Clifford Brown IPA? Clifford Brown IPA. Oh my goodness. We were saying, like, because, you know, if we're trying to, like, you know... That Yo, that was just dope as fuck to you. <laughs> Clifford people. Brown IPA, like, like, I really, you know, like... With the horn, like, that's <laughs> everything. Right? Exactly. Like that. Clifford Brown IPA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one with the titties. Oh yeah, yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. I can see the ad now. Rep, rep your neighborhood. Right. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yes. I like that. Don't bust no caps over your neighborhood. Right. Pop some caps. There you go. Yes. Right. Oh, excuse me. Did they even say that they don't say yes caps? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even really know. I'm so I fucking old. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Pop some caps, but well, I like that though. Pop yeah. some caps. Yeah. Pop some caps for your neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. I can see that now, the commercial. Yeah, man. I grew up, I grew up on uh, my first eight years on Fifth and Rodney. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You was right in the, in the thick of things. Yeah, it was, it was, it was quiet. From what I remember. Okay. You know? And then uh, moved over to East Side on uh, Taylor Street. Okay. Wait, where's Taylor? Taylor's it's over. Uh, it's that little street. Yeah, you like know where? where? Clay, you know where uh, uh, Compton Park is? Yeah. Right. If you if you if you stay. You have seen it? Put it like this. You've been back there, but it's yeah, a little street yeah, that yeah, only yeah, goes yeah. a couple of blocks. How close to the, the school? Brothers Market. Market. It's real close to the school. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a right, block. It's two blocks it's away from Bancroft. Bancroft. Yeah. yeah. You have seen it? <laughs> no, trust me. All People go past it all the... No, no. no. Like, if you go... It's one block off of seven. It's coming Street. off of Bennett. It's coming off of... Oh, Knife okay. Yeah, yeah, like... Um, no, no, Knife and uh, Lombard. Lombard. Yep. Lombard. Yeah, it's between Lombard. Lombard. It's coming Lombard off of Lombard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Lombard. Okay. It's yeah, coming it off of Lombard. Lombard. It's coming off of Lombard. Yeah. And so it's one of those, like, little... It's yeah. a little side street. Got you. have seen it. You've probably seen it a hundred times. That's so funny. That's actually what I was going to ask you. There's some streets that live there that's been living there If it's a... Yes. Yeah. If it's a street, it's my family. And there's no in Delaware. If it's a street, it's my family. Yeah. 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 yeah man. So we're, we're, we're... wait. So the Dorseys. So yeah. do, Sherry Dorsey. Do you Sherry's the councilman? She was a councilman. Yeah. And my mom. She lives around. Yeah. Karen's her sister. Karen's her sister. Yeah. See now, I know I got a cousin Karen. You know what she looks like. Yeah. Uh, brown skin. Yeah. Pretty girl. You know, yeah. She uh, about. This is. I don't even know if my my the cousin Karen and I know is watching, and if she is, don't be mad at me saying this. She's about forty seven. Yeah, she. You, well, nah, you, she's you ran out of battery anyway. Oh, so right. You can say anything. Right nah, now. she's True. younger than that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's she's probably like thirty six. Oh, okay. oh, never mind. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry Keenan sorry. Dorsey. Uh, no, it's a different Dorsey. Okay, nah. Yeah. Different doors. All right, yeah. cool, cool, cool. It's like so many of us. Like, and the uh, this crazy is on my dad's side, Benson's side. I got a cousin. My cousins, uh, Alan, and um, they're all. All their last names are uh, Benson, but their father's name, last name, was Dorsey. Rudolph Dorsey. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And um, but no relation, you know. Interesting. It's just crazy. Yeah. Cool. That's interesting. <laughs> Dude, you got to do these more regularly. Like, yeah, we were doing them every how, week. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, uh, once I, 
Uh, when I was off for injury, I uh, they they sent me into physical therapy. It was for my neck. Okay. I started to have issues with my speech and my memory and stuff. Really? And yeah. So it really took me back a lot. So we weren't really huh. able to you know record you know as much as we as we as we could have. Sure. And then you know once I started to feel a little more healthy, you know I got back into work. And, got you. You know that cut us down a lot. Got so, you. You gotta work. Man. <laughs> you know? Of course. And so we've been oh, trying to do them, you know, uh, once a month, you know, mm-hmm. you know, at least stack up on some, you know. So yeah, that's been the, that's been the goal, you know. But it's always it's always a great you know outlet to get into, you know, and yeah. and uh, just always spending time with my cousin is always a, a beautiful thing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. And um, yeah. Well, the potential is huge, as far as I can see. I mean, I I, I get it. Completely. Between just the beer itself is its own road, and then right. the podcast is its own thing, especially when you throw in the hip hop. You know I mean? Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, I could be of assistance to you. You know, just let me know. Um, I appreciate I love that. everything you're doing. Thank so, you. I gotta get some of that green tea batch. I never had your your yeah. beer. You know what I mean? Yeah, that green, yeah. that green yeah. tea, man. That green Which tea. Which is totally I'm unique. I'm a tea drinker, so you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm modeling tomorrow, so I'm um should be ready in a week. Okay. Mm-hmm. How come you have to wait like so once you bottle it, what happens during that week? It carbonates. Mm-hmm. It carbonates. Yeah, it carbonates. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So like you put it in there, you uh you gotta put some what they call priming sugar. I usually use granulated sugar, but I'll put brown sugar in there. And uh um, like why it, you know? yes sir. Because it's not bleached. Right. Yeah, no, no, no. I just wanted, like, I want to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, That's, yeah. Yeah, I'll try to keep it as natural right. as possible. Yeah. Right, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. It's like the only, <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's in the beers that is not from the earth. Actually, even, I think the yeast is from the earth, too. Because it's, it's, it's a bacteria. Yeah. Right. But, you know, it just, it's just a, it's just a catalyst to make the, uh, the alcohol content. And that's also what what eats up the, the brown sugar that I put in. And you should go to drop squat. You go to drop squat yeah. with your shit. Try to sell your shit there too. Yeah, they they don't squat. have a they don't have a light and a liquor license. So. But they have like this. They can get the short term. Like take a day. Uh, oh, okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I have a special yeah. day. There's a be cool. there's a lot of spots you can do. You can do drops. Like I'm saying, Stone Oven. You yeah. could just. I'm saying we could hit all of those spots. Mm-hmm. You can even probably do events, like, these podcasts, events, any event, yeah. the day. We pass. could do beer, beer tasting, all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yes, cool. even my man on the riverfront. Um, I don't know if y'all know Venu on the mm-hmm. riverfront. Mm-hmm. Um, he would do it. He he has a a liquor a liquor store down on the riverfront. But okay. he's good. He's um Indian. He's yeah. good. Good dude though. Right though. Good dude. Yeah, you have a million different options though. Yeah. There's a million options. I mean, right now it's it's wide open, you yeah. know. Like Wilmington, and just the whole climate is really changing now, and it's really, yeah. it's it's exciting actually. That, you know, all the different people, all the different things going on. And yep. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a time to do something, yeah. and and it's a time when we need to do something because other people are doing things. Yep. So we got to yeah. like match the energy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you're dead ass. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. And yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, they so, out there. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, I, I'm looking at this as a future yeah. company, and it's like yeah. we're not providing jobs. Not, not we need drivers. Yeah, we need right us yeah. You know, we need marketing all those. We need all like, that. Yeah, love it. And the thing is, the, the main thing is that you already the product is yeah. you you your craft is good. You know what I mean? Right. Like the research has been done. Yeah. Right. The product can be made at any point in time. It's just you need, yeah. you know, the the We got to put the back team end. together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Teamwork make the dream work. Always. Yeah. Always. Always. Even little shit like deliver. If I do another video or like anything yeah. I talk, like give me your, like I'll I'll shout your fucking beer out all over right. the fucking internet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I'm right. sitting here you drinking. You got your first um, yeah. endorser. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I will like give me a t-shirt. I'll wear your shit. Like I'll yeah. drink. This is all I drink. You know what I right. mean? Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever your beer is, like this is, this is you know. Yeah, like we have billboards. You know, yeah. On the yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll take a video of me in the passenger seat of the car. Yeah, one hundred 
percent. Yeah. I like it. Oh, for, yeah, that's right. Today's Friday. Yeah. Somebody the shoot. riverfront. No, the riverfront always does uh, oh, fireworks. Oh, that's Blue the fireworks. Rocks. Uh, <laughs> Blue Rocks does fireworks every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday. How come yeah. I don't hear them on Fridays? I don't. I don't normally hear them. Normally, I hear their fireworks. That's funny. Well, they yeah. just started. This is only the second one. It's a, it's oh, the season just started. Oh, that's why. Okay. It's well, that time of year. Be prepared to hear this from now on. Through well, no. As soon as they start the Mexicans, two doors, two doors down from a startup. Like, they, like, <laughs> chime in. <laughs> like, like, oh, you got fireworks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all night long. It's like, dude, would you fucking stop? But it's fun. Here's one little... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every 10 minutes. <laughs> it's like a fire crack. It's That's hilarious. Oh, how y'all feeling, man? Pretty good. good I'm yeah. great. I'm good, man. Yeah. I feel good. I, I I feel like, you know, this is a good. This is a historic, using that word again, occasion right. for us all to get together in one accord. You know what I mean? That's how they do it here. Come out yes. Yes. Right. Right now. Um, I got I got uh, one thing I want to ask all three of y'all. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Uh, now I don't really you know put myself out there like that Mm -hmm. but the question I need to know and answer to is should I get another beer out the fridge that's why I left (laughs) (laughs) that's what I said (laughs) 